titties. <laughs> so look at that glory holes. <laughs> Feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. I'm gonna be here for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going hey. on a trip, and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. And this is just the beginning. I need a big Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, we are on the road to two events today, hopefully. If we're lucky. Um, first one is we're heading to Mangatainoka to Toy Brewery. They have a uh, hot rod show this morning. And. I didn't plan to go there today, but um, it coincided with another event in the other direction, which is a car home build show. So that sounded really interesting to see what the guys build in their own garages. But then I came across this hot rod show and I'm thinking, ah, let's make it a day, to, day of it. So um, uh, we're heading there. Uh, we started nice and early. I kind of underestimated the power of clouds because the weather is like this and it's cold. We had the daylight saving this morning so we had to wake up an hour earlier and my little digits are frozen. Uh, I didn't take enough layers and I take the thermal thing but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, um, I was kind of looking forward to this stuff. I'm thinking, where am I going to stop? I need to stop to warm up on the sun a little bit because I was just freaking ice block. Uh, but look at over there. Let me zoom in. Look at the clear view of the Tararua Rangers. Hey, absolutely stunning. Yeah, so another adventure. I have taken my Trumpy out today. Uh, we haven't been riding, I haven't been on this bike in ages, so she was about due to come out. And um, I might do a little skip when we come home because I have to go through home to the other event. So I might just come home, switch bikes, to keep it interesting and then head to the other car show so um yeah let's go riding let's go have a look i've gone through the villages now this is kind of more of an open road so uh uh let's just go see you on the road Well, I have decided to do a um, little voiceover. I haven't done this before, so uh, I might be talking lots of rubbish. Um, you can let me know in the comments whether you want me to uh, say something random over these um, ride segments, or um, you just prefer to enjoy the ride and um, listen to music rather than me rambling away. So. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know, I thought I'd give it a go, so here we are. What are you riding, you ask? So this is my Triumph Bonneville America, year 2007. I believe it is the last carbureted engine. Um, I bought this bike for not much money out of open. It has been very neglected and um, rusted and um, not very pretty. So, um, yeah, it was um, my first venture into bike engineering world. I have um, stripped the intakes, 
I changed exhaust, first time I have rebuilt the carburetors and uh, learned um, how to do it and um, what each parts are and how they really work. Oh, hello there, fella. Nice little yellow car you got. Hey, wave, thumbs up, Ooh, move on. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, I have did my own paint job. I change every single light for a um, uh, LED light and um, re-welded bunch of things so this bike doesn't look anything like it uh, looked stock. Right, so we have our next to the brewery. This is the toy brewery on the picture. Uh, the building outside, uh, but these guys are in the brewery, they do uh, lots of these car and motorcycle events, so today is the hot dog day. But I just wanted to show you the loose, the dunnies. Dunnies! <laughs> so look at the glory holes. <laughs> uh, but I really like the, um, I know I'm showing you, I'm showing you a toilet, but I like the urinals made out of the cakes and other things. Cool, eh? It's cool. Into which hole? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, let's have a look around. Um, all right. So they have a they have a new building here, and the old building is hiding somewhere around behind. But uh, let's have a look at them uh, cars, eh? All right. See what we got. Oh, before we get to the cars, lovely little 1974 Norton. I already talked to the chip. Beautiful little bike. Oh yeah, let's have a look at these cars. This is That's a nice machinery. Buzz this fella on the road. Turn that to games, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn that to games, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run. So fight and fight and die. No. Uh, this is maybe interesting. So when I first came to New Zealand almost 20 years ago, uh, fresh off the plane, we couldn't find accommodation. The hostels were all full. And uh, we called a um, contractor who uh, contracted people to farms to pick apples. And he brought us to a family home where uh, we rented a, um, a room to live in. So it was all kind of running around, don't know what's happening, didn't speak any English. Um, and owner of this car is the lady I stayed with the first time I arrived. Lovely lady Megan. And so good to meet her. She would just popped in and said, Mario! I said, oh, fuck. It's been a long time. And we haven't seen it. When, we, when I left the house, she had a 
uh, one little boy, Cody. He was three years old, I think, or kind of under. Now he's 20. Man, you realize how long you've been in a place they threw kids when you know some as the young ones and then they just grow up. So, yeah. <laughs> That's her 79 Chevy. It's a nice little turnout. Uh, nice few beautiful cars. I like looking at them. I don't like being inside them. <laughs> I'd rather be outside. But those old dudes look cool. Um, yeah, I can appreciate uh, some you know, good engineering and uh, great machinery. So, um, yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here jump on a bike and hone back to have a look at the other thing so we'll see what happens there's a few little bikes my little machine and we have a rocket duke javel mm. Little Harleys. All right, I'm just gonna get dressed. I warmed up. I have another piddle, and then um, yeah, head out to Wellington to um, to the other show. So, all right, I'll uh, see you back on the road. Look at all these cars and as we say in Slovakia it is a total Spanish village for me. I got nothing. I don't understand it. I um, only discovered the V8s here in New Zealand. Nobody had big block cars in Slovakia. Our family car was um, a Fiat 600. So uh, it was um, well, 600 cc's and uh, four of us traveled across the whole damn country on it 50 60 kilometers an hour so uh that's the muscle cars we had back at home so um this is very interesting just to see what what is out there After I started watching those uh, TV shows on Netflix, um, uh, like Gotham Garage or Rust Valley Restorers, that you uh, have a first view into big blocks and um, you know feel the power. I feel lots of bikes here in New Zealand. They are um, pretty muffled because that's what the law requires. But when you hear a proper V8 rumble with some almost straight pipes, that's um, it's pretty exhilarating, I'd have to say. All right, all right, uh, bikes. I'm home. Mission one accomplished. We saw some cars. We had some good ride. Uh, it was nice. Triumph parked. I'll sort it later. Swap the keys. I already took the the other girl out. And now we're gonna take her for a spin. I can't forget the gloves. 
Okay. Um. Close the game. <laughs> nice. Alright. I'll just have to get some petrol and uh, off we go. Um, well, let's just keep riding. What else is there to say? I don't know. I was gonna say something. I was thinking on the way home that, uh, oh, maybe I should drop in some uh, some wisdom of knowledge or something. Wisdom or knowledge. And uh, totally pick it out. I just get to the point. Hey, switch the bikes. Let's go. What's. And I'm mumbling. Okay, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> I get to ride my uh, 1970 Sporty is always a good day and um, I have a half a meter I know what is it 20 20 inch a hangers on this bike and everybody often worries uh, how it is to ride this motorcycle but at the height of 6'2 my arms are not that high because the motorcycle is pretty pretty tiny to be honest and um, I have found that uh, it's more about position of my legs than the arms. If my legs are extended forward, like on my Triumph, that's much harder position to be as having the mid controls and higher arms. So that's just my five cents. All right, all right. so we arrived. This is Brewtown, which is in a upper hut. There is a whole bunch of things you can do here, go-karts, paintball, life skating and stuff and it's a bunch of venues. <laughs> There's a few bikes here, haven't seen this uh, Moto Morini, uh, that looks quite neat, a little adventure thing, 650, huh. not a bad looking bike and um, yeah, we just saw, look at the rocket, it has lights on. Why? Is it normal? I don't know. Nobody else is here, so uh, uh, can't tell anything. Anyone? Hopefully, the battery is still alive, but it's LED. It shouldn't take that much. And uh, we're gonna have a look at that home car build show. Um, I have no idea where it is. Uh, we're just gonna go for a wonder. Uh, I don't know if it's there, or there, or how. I just walk down here through this park. This is promising, that looks cool. Uh -huh. Wow, I already see some neat things in there. What? You want to hold hands with Papa right. too? <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's have a look. So, by the looks of it, each car has a description which tells you the, um, where the body comes from, engine, gearbox and suspension so uh, I'm not gonna go through everything uh, some some neat rides holy shit
definitely very interesting machines, eh? Uh, the car behind that was quite cool, having the engine and the transmission kind of 90 degrees to what it's supposed to be. So that was pretty neat. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, let's keep looking. I wish I could tell you more about it. I have almost no idea about cars and car engines. I have just a little bit better idea about motorcycle engines. And, uh, my knowledge is pretty limited in um, everything. As you can probably tell from my videos, I'm just um, walking in the dark here. But it, um, compared to a um, stock vehicles, what you could buy and restore. This was quite interesting. Everything's home built. Everybody makes it matches different parts, build frames, figure out the engines this and way, this and that way. It's pretty cool. I don't have the energy to talk to people today. So I'm just kind of skirting on the corners and moving about. Uh, it was a busy week. Had work and uh, I'm a bit spent so uh, it's just nice come to the place have a look uh, talk to almost no one and disappear I've seen some big groups of motorcyclists going around um, and um, I was thinking oh, yeah I'm quite happy alone today um, so alone it is well I got you don't I I'll talk to you all to listen there is another even down here I don't know if it's a veggie market or something I'm here might as well go and have a geezer geese geezer geese geese not the Canadian geese geese g-e-e-z yeah it's a veggie market all right okay I don't need veggies. I was thinking to buy myself a drink, but I can't even be bothered waiting in line. So, um, home it is. There are some interesting cars parked here. It is a plate like mine. I have a 70 hog for 70s hog, and it looks like 70s Corvette. Hmm. Is it a stingray? Chevy. Oh well, well, maybe interesting video, maybe not interesting video, I'm having a little fun with um, placing cameras different angles to see what I can make up. I have upgraded my computer so I could process the videos a bit better rather than fiddle with them on the phone. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. This area, I don't know what it was before, factory of something, now it's a bunch of breweries and shops and restaurants and um, trampoline park, bowling, distilleries, yeah. interesting venue, oh yeah, I've seen some cars, we avoided motorcyclists. Uh, the ride over the hill was slow. Well, oh, stop rambling. Um, let's go home. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best. And that's about wraps it up. Um, I did some uh, new things like this voiceover. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. You can write me down in the comments whether you like it. I can always say something about stuff I see or it's happening on a video or uh, tell you stories from uh, young Mario from Slovakia. I don't know. <laughs> and um, 
yeah thank you for watching as usual thank you for supporting my channel keep riding keep enjoying the two-wheel lifestyle and um, you know push the buttons as usual and uh, I will see you all in our next adventure don't do anything I wouldn't do all right and uh, happy days see you later I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst so you can just hide while I work I'm tired you first I'll write a second third verse about the lies you go disperse